Hi. On the, this week on our uh, assignments, we have the JSTOR Research Network, which, as we uh, have seen and known, has so many articles and books um, and different things related to all sorts of history topics. And uh, just as a reminder, uh, my area of uh, research will be related to the First World War. And uh, I was able to find at least three articles um, that were recent. I dated it for the last 10 years. And uh, most of the uh, articles related to the First World War really came out in 2014, 15, and 16 with the centennial anniversary of the war. And it really in the last few years have kind of died out and there have not been as many uh, new articles about the First World War. But the ones that I chose, uh, starting with the first, was entitled The Role of the Zimmerman Telegram in Spurring America's Entry into the First World War. And this article was written by Poyong Fei Yi in 2015. And a little bit of background, the Zimmerman Telegram was sent by uh, a German delegate to the German ambassador to Mexico to try to entice Mexico to join in on the side of the Central Powers and attack the United States before the U.S. became involved. And so um, this telegram was sent, but it was intercepted by Great Britain, sent to us the United States, and then from there, Wilson made it public to the nation. And uh, this really has to tie into uh, a common theme with these articles, is perception how the United States perceived Germany at the time, and really how they perceived Mexico. Um, with our U.S.-Mexico relations at the time not being good, with Pancho Villa uh, making uh, attacks uh, across the U.S. border, General Pershing going across the border to try to catch uh, Villa, but being unsuccessful. And so really the perception of Germany, the United States, uh, Mexico, and how this ultimately uh, help the U.S. enter the First World War. The second article is entitled, The Face of the Enemy, the Image of the Adversary in Turkish Literary Works About Gallipoli. And this article was written by A. Kandan Kuriski in 2015. And this has to deal with um, the Turks and the Battle of Gallipoli was Great Britain and the mind behind it, Winston Churchill's attempt at uh, going and attacking the Ottoman Empire as it was known at the time, uh, attacking this peninsula, going to Constantinople and wiping Turkey or the Ottoman Empire out of the war and getting supplies up to Russia. And this article has to deal with uh, there are many, many uh, first-hand accounts, primary sources about Gallipoli from the Australian, New Zealand, Britain perspective, but very few from the Turkish. And so they only have a handful of pers uh, perspectives on uh, their Battle of Gallipoli, and those sources kind of get used again and again and again with relatively uh, not very many uh, new sources being discovered and how that has affected uh, the perspective that the Turks won that battle and it was kind of their main triumph and almost only triumph of the war. The third article is entitled The First World War Soldier and His Contemporary Image in Britain written by Helen B. McCartney in 2014. This has to deal with British perception of the First World War soldier and how really they're the victim and uh, yes they have they were heroic and brave and overcame adversity, but really, um, especially in the light of the Battle of the Somme, where nearly 60,000 British soldiers were casualties in the first day, and how that perception has carried all, all the way to this day, um, the, the idea of the victim. With all these articles, um, many of them were, relied heavily on secondary sources and less so on primary sources. Um, and these were some of the things that I discovered while reading and evaluating these articles and sources. And I would love to hear your thoughts and perspectives on it as well. Thank you all.